This video is brought to you in association with Kitchich Toys, the UK's home for retro and vintage toys. If I'm honest with you, it's probably easier to make your own. All right, Rick Waller came back again. And what's this in front of us? Oh look, it's a sonic screwdriver. That's right, my fascination with Doctor Who continues. Now we're getting into the roleplay toys. Or is that cosplay? I can never tell these days. Let's have a look at the packaging. Window box of the Sonic Screwdriver within, Doctor Who logo. Picture of the 8th Doctor, because this is the 8th Doctor Screwdriver. Uh, electronic 8th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver with sound effects. Ages 5 up, by character, BBC. On the back, other screwdrivers are available. Usual legal guff. Not very interesting packaging. What will be interesting though is to see what's inside. Gonna pop it open, back in a tick. Okay, so here's the screwdriver out of packaging. And is it any good? That is the question. And the answer is, well, not so much. It's not very detailed. And that's my big problem with it. I mean, it looks all right. Certainly at this shot, it looks good. And you've got your nice red bit at the top, held in nicely with what looks like springs. A nice hoop at the top. And then a nice shaft, nice hidden button at the back, hidden battery compartment, and some sculpted detail. There's a few sculpted details on here, but yeah, it feels plasticky, it feels very plasticky, and it really doesn't have any paint apps. There's literally, I don't think there is literally any paint apps on here. The difference in colour with this brown band, this red thing at the top, they're just different coloured plastic. And they've just fitted on. Which seems a waste. I mean, I'd love to see it with a bit of a dirty wash on it, perhaps. Make it look old and used. And, yeah. Just doesn't doesn't do it for me there's no lights with it but then there was no real need to be and the sound effects are essentially or there's no real control over which comes first they're just ones then the other so yeah if you're a big dark true fan and you plan to cosplay if I'm honest with you, it's probably easier to make your own. I've seen some good videos here on YouTube where they do make their own. And I'm thinking I might just do that. I might design my own one. Saying that I might throw a bit of paint on this, give it a bit of a wash. Maybe add some blues and greens around these bands just to make it look cool or cooler. Because it looks all right. And as a big 8th Doctor fan, I'm happy to have it, but could be better. That's the official definition of this one. Could be better. Which just about sums up this video, brings it to a close. Till next time, silly.